for the configurations of the dunning using transaction code CFPMP. OK, so now what we need to do is we will going to raise one invoice uh, for the particular customers and all, and we will going to raise uh, one uh, dunning reminder notices to the customers. I mean, if the customer doesn't make the payment on the time, the next thing is here, whatever the transactions uh, that we are doing, I'm sorry, whatever the invoices postings that we are doing, see, based on the dunning reminded notices only, we will going to post it. But uh, the, uh, the first and foremost important thing in SAP system here is, uh, see, before you uh, raise each and every invoices of the customers and all, you have to check with the uh, dunning, OK, uh, I mean dunning processes and all based on the client requirement only uh, we will going to configure the dunnings, OK, in Fiori app in normal app, we will going to do the same configurations only, but when it comes to the business partners and all. OK, see here in the business partners in Fiori app, we do have uh, creation roles. Then when it comes to the normal app, SAP S4 HANA normal app only, OK, we will use the configurations. Uh, I mean, creations of roles differently. OK, everything is same, but the way you are uh, seeing the interfaces is uh, uh, very much different in SAP S4 HANA. OK, th this is SAP S4 HANA only and it is same like as uh, ECC, but whatever the information that we have, uh, OK, in ECC and S4 HANA, there will be a slight changes. That is 5% changes. OK, no need to worry. So whatever the requirement that you have, you can just fulfill. OK, based on the client requirement that I mean, one day you will going to get the client requirement. See, based on the client requirement, only you will do the configurations. OK, yeah, I mean, uh, if they don't give the client requirement and all, so you will not going to do any configurations. Why? Because it is unnecessary for the client. That is very, very important. Please try to learn the business process flow. I have already given you the business process flow for each and every concept, how all these things are happen and all. And the next one is you have seen the asset accounting in SAP S4, or, uh, sorry, ECC. Then we will going to see new asset accounting features in SAP S4. Everything is same. OK, everything is same, but the way uh, some of the transactions codes are different comparing with any ECC systems and all. No need to worry. Now what we need to do is spawn. So can you go to the transaction code FBMP? FBMP. So before you um, raise the dunning reminder notices to the customers and all, you have to have the uh, dunning processes. I think previously uh, we have uh, given all these dunning. Uh, sorry, we have created the dunning processor as a ship only, uh, but uh, uh, I mean based on some uh, requirements and all. See some of the things have been deleted here, so that is why we have created same like as a ship. Uh, the per new processor is a king. OK, so KING. Can you double click on this uh, KING? Can you double click on this KNG? Can you go see here a uh, dunning interval in days are one, number of dunning levels are four, and line item grace periods is one, and standard transaction dunning. So this is our um, dunning requirements and all. If you have down payments and all, you can just tick mark on the down, uh, down dunning special GL transactions. Uh, and if it is a credit uh, account balances, if it is a credit memos balances and all, if you want to send the dunning reminder notices to the customers based on the credit memos and all, you can just tick mark it uh, and all. There is no issue right now. Whatever the client requirement that you have, so you can just update each and every details in this uh, dunning main processes. Can you go to the dunning levels? Can you go to the dunning levels? See, these are the dunning levels. And the next one is dunning textures. Whatever the dunning textures that you have maintained in each and every company code, okay, so that should be there in the customer dunning processes, okay? All right. I mean, these are the forms only. So based on the forms only, you will going to find out the dunning reminder notices, right? And you will going to find out the each and everything. So come back. Come back. See here, based on the dunning area only. So we are doing each and every configurations, right? Can you go to the dunning textures here? Go to the dunning textures. See, 
you can assign learning area you can assign sap script forms you can assign the forms in all okay in the dunning level you will going to see the dunning text but in main text what we need to give is see this is a demo server that is why i'm not giving any form type or area so if you want to uh, maintain areas i mean dunning areas and all you will going to maintain it and script you will going to maintain there is no any issue see i have maintained this dunning area under this uh, uh, environment, uh, I think company code data only. OK, right. Can you come back? Come back one step back. Uh, enter. Hmm. Or else uh, see. Can you go to the environment? Uh, Pavan? Go to the environment and go to the company code data and go to the company code data. Uh, company code data. See, can you go to the position? Can you go to the position? Uh, enter, no issue. Enter, 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 enter. See, our company code is a ship. So I have maintained the Dunning area based on the Dunning levels and all. See, if you are uh, in, in your system, if the Dunning notices are not generated, then you can just come back to this running processes, go to the environment, come to this uh, company code control data, so runnings and all. Then you have to assign the running company code only based on the business partner wise only data will going to fetch from the running processes only. OK, so that is the main important thing that we have here and whatever the data uh, that are coming from the runnings and all. OK, running processes, line item, grace periods and uh, anything, uh, grace periods, uh, periods and all. So, and uh, OK, anything, anything you can take. Uh, see if you assign the running company code under this company code running control only, you will go into create the each and every running reminder notices for the customers. If you don't find out, OK, just change this company code in this running company codes and all go to the save button and save it okay right what we need to do is can you go to the efb 70 transaction code we will go into raise the running reminder notices okay so i'm just giving you the proper solutions to your errors and all if you if you are going to face each and every error sorry i mean if you face any errors regarding with the running payments and all automatically you will going to do it okay right can you give uh invoice date is six and posting date is six can you take out the customer mm, our customer is 2022 sorry 222 okay no issue see if you take the 221 there is no any issue can you take out the 5000 or 50000 rupees yes come down and this is the INR and the text is selling material to the particular customers and all. Can you come down and take out the GL account and GL account as GL account as three three thousand sales account. Sorry, three lakh sales account and the amount in document currency is a fifty thousand. Can you click on the enter? Oh, no issue. Click on the enter. Go to the simulate option. Go to the save button and save it. See, please try to learn the flow. OK, they will going to give you one error. If you can't find out the error, they will consider your profile as a fake profile. Definitely OK in present days. Can you remove this thing? OK, go to the FBL 5N option. FBL 5N. Go to the open item, give the company code and the customer account. Go to the execute button. You will going to find it. OK, see there is a 6000 rupees there is a 50,000 rupees. OK, no worries. No, right. So on the 5 12 2022. So you have 6,000 rupees. You didn't clear it, right? OK, no worries. You do one thing. OK, we are rising the in. I mean, uh, running reminder notices for this amount only to the particular customers and all. Right. So can you give a slash in? Give slash in. Oh, don't worry. Uh, go to the transaction code F150. F150, that is running run only. Can you give run date as uh, 06, right? 07. One is the running in 08. Give 08.12.2022. And the identification is anything. 
identification is anything. Mm. All right. Can you take out the parameter? Parameter as dunning date only. So what is the dunning date? 08.12.2022. And the document up to posted is 07.12.2022 or 06.12.2022. Then next, give your company code. Give your company code. Mm. Give your customer. Give your customer and uh, free selection tab. Sorry, additional log. You can just give the customers and all. You can just give the customers and all. The next one is 2022. Sorry, triple two. Status. Go to the save button and save it. And then next one is. Uh, can you go to the schedule option? So you have to schedule the payments, right? All right. So uh, change this to the 06.12.2022. OK, right. OK, take out the dunning print with the scheduling. OK, can you go to the dispatch execute? Dispatch execute. OK, can you click on the enter? See two dunning notices were generated. Why? Because within these days only we are generating two dunning notices, reminder notices and all. OK, we have posted one thing that is uh, 05 dot. Uh, uh, I mean uh, something 05 dot. Uh, 12 dot 2022 and 06 dot 12 dot 2022. So on these days we have raised uh, each and everything. OK, right. No issue and uh, OK. See here two dunning notices are printed first of all and customer two. So customer in that customer. So we have uh, generated two dunning reminder notices. OK, can you go to the sample printout? Can you go to the sample? See, we are giving sample printout only. OK, so take out the customer. Uh, from customer to two customer. OK, right. So can you go to the print option or else go to the display? First to go to the display, you will going to see the each and everything. So this is our dunning procedures has like in uh, ECC and all. OK, how much dunning procedures uh, amount is 200 charges. OK, 6000 rupees is. 6000 rupees. OK, on the date of uh, 05.12.2022. OK, I, I think uh, one dunning notices were uh, not generated. So sorry, this is the second dunning notice. OK, second dunning notice. Come back. Come back. Come back. Mm. First dunning notice come down. First dunning notices is for the 50,000. OK, all of you. So we have raised two dunning notices. OK, I mean, why? Because we have two invoices. OK, no issue. All right. Come back, uh, Pawan. OK. All right, so these are the things was displayed successfully and all and dunning printout. Yes, come down, come back. No issue. So uh, I think we have uh, raised to dunning interval in days and all. See, can you go to the dunning list? Come on. Can you go to the dunning list? Mm. Right. Continue. So you can just observe 50,000, 6,000 rupees. These are the dunning texts. Right. OK, right. Come back. Come back. Come back. OK, so if you want to see the individual running notices and all, you can just see it. Otherwise, there is no any issue. So this is how we can generate each and everything. OK, what we need to do is can you give uh, this thing per one? Give slash and go to the transaction code F-28. Go to the transaction code F-28. OK, so these 200 100 is the additional income for the any organizations and all. OK, all of you. All right. No, 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 this is not the clearing invoices. This is incoming payments from customers. You are getting incoming payments, right? Incoming payments from customer. Incoming payment payments from customer. 
incoming payments from customers. Uh, so how much amount that is pawn? 56,000 rupees. Mm. Give 56,000 rupees. Mm. Click on the enter. Uh, give the value date. Value date is 06.12.2022. Incoming payments from customer and the open item selection is account is 222. Right. Can you go to the process open items? An entry field value date is not permitted. OK, I think value date is in a suppress option. No issue. Click on the end. OK, can you double click on this 50,000? 6,000 also. OK, right. So it will be a zero thing. Can you go to the documents in it option? Go to the save button and save it. OK, go to the save button and save it. Come back to this FBL 5N transaction code. Right. Can you go to the list and go to the refresh and go to the save button and save it? OK, there is no any no item selections. Come back. OK, go to the cleared items, go to the things and all okay this is how we can clear each and everything okay right so can you give slash in and uh, in next session we will going to see payment terms transactions for vendors and payment terms transactions for customers okay right.